you chose, we listened. May I represent to you one of the most used apps from our large portfolio. It helps you optimize number and location of your warehouses while reducing modeling and processing time of network design studies by up to 70%. Our network design app is at your service and it can be creme de la creme of your analysis. So let's taste it. A popular beverage brand from US is delivering all the goods from two factories and seven warehouses to the customers in various locations. They want to see if by reorganizing their network structure, they can get lower total costs. The first step is getting the total cost of their current situation. The next step is identifying the potential warehouse locations and finding the optimal number. Let's see what will be the savings this company can achieve. The company from US at this moment has a network design structure where all the distribution goes from Austin and Cleveland factory to the customers all around US through these seven warehouses. Durham, Jersey City, Tampa, Buffalo, Toledo, Lexington and Plano. What we will do now is to calculate the cost of this as is situation. In these three tables, we add first two factories, then seven warehouses, and at the end, list of all the customers. Here we specify the names and locations of the factories. All the goods are transported with three vehicle types, which have different capacity. That's why we add the average weight and volume of all the vehicles. Costs that we input here are the inbound transport costs from the factory to the warehouse and they are represented in the chosen currency, which is in this case American dollar. In Network Design app, we add transport costs by distance and we are calculating them as a decreased linear function, taking into consideration the cost per first mile and the cost per 1000 miles. That means the biggest cost this company has is for the first mile and it is assumed that after 1000 miles, the costs will be steady. Doing only the inbound consolidation, first are filled all the FTLs and what's left will be filled with LTL. But company's costs are going up when adding the LTL at the end. Having in mind LTL is 50% of FTL, this company ships LTL from Cleveland factory, which is 15% more expensive than FTL and that is why here we add 65%. From the Austin factory, LTL is 10% higher in price than FTL, which is why we input 60%. This company is currently using these seven warehouse locations from which they are shipping all the goods. We model those existing warehouses by adding a number 1 into the fixed column. After providing the addresses for the warehouses, we specify the capacity of each warehouse individually. For the minimum and maximum weight which can be stored in the warehouse, this company uses pounds, while for the volume they use the number of pallets. Now we add the costs of each warehouse. The company has renting and electricity costs as fixed cost, while the variable costs depend on the cost per weight and the volume of each unit stored in the warehouse. We also here input outbound transport costs from warehouse to the customers, but comparing to the inbound we don't do the outbound consolidation. This company has various customers and here are added all their names and locations. We also provide average weight and volume per shipment, which will be multiplied by the total number of shipments. We also specify which customer is supplied from which factory and which warehouse. Having on mind seven existing warehouses represent the current network design structure, we will fix from seven to seven warehouses in order to calculate as is solution. All provided warehouses are included into the solution. We can see total assigned weight, volume and shipments per each warehouse, as well as the fixed and variable costs. Here is shown in detail factory warehouse assignment, including total weight, volume and number of shipments assigned to each factory and each warehouse and the distance between them. The company has also insight into the total inbound transportation costs from a specific factory to a specific warehouse. Likewise, the customer warehouse assignment shows which customer is assigned to which warehouse, what is the total weight, volume and number of shipments for that assignment, as well as the distance between them. Stated are also total outbound costs from the particular warehouse to the particular customer. When summing the fixed and variable costs of the warehouse, plus all inbound and all outbound costs, we got total cost of as is solution which goes around $7.6 million. 
let's now try to redesign the existing network. We will not change the factories, neither the customers, but we want to see are there better options for the warehouses that should be used. For that purpose, we found 22 warehouses more, which we want to add together on the list with 7 existing ones. This time, we don't want to specify any of the warehouses to be for sure in the solution, because we want to see all of them as potential warehouses. That's why in the fixed column we add everywhere zero. For all 29 warehouses, we specified the capacity and the costs. We will also not specify which factory or warehouse should supply a certain customer and leave the engine decide which would be the suggested options. But the company from US wants all found warehouses to be in the radius of 2,500 miles, so we are restricting maximum warehouse distance. In order to see the optimal number of the warehouses, we will select minimum 1 and maximum 29 warehouses. Due to the fact 29 potential warehouses are listed, this is here the highest number selected. These five warehouses are found as the optimal ones. Irvine, Jersey City, Lubbock, Plano and Toledo. We can have insight into the fixed and variable costs for each of the warehouses, as well as all the detail regarding factory warehouse assignment and customer warehouse assignment. If we sum fixed and variable costs, all inbound and all outbound transport costs, we get the total cost of this optimal solution, which goes around 5.4 million dollars. Let's now visualize the new network design structure. From the Cleveland and Austin factory to the customers all over US, the optimal solution offers these five warehouses through which the distribution should go. Those suggested warehouses are Irwin, Jersey City, Lubbock, Plano and Toledo. Total cost of this optimal solution is 5.4 million dollars. And now let's remind ourselves how the previous network structure of this company looked like. They were using 7 existing warehouses and had total cost in the amount of around 7.6 million dollars. Now we want to see the changes that have been made by making a parallel of these two network design structures with their costs. When comparing the optimal solution with as-is situation, we can see that only 3 out of 7 primary used warehouse locations are considered as the optimal ones. Those locations are Jersey City, Toledo and Plano. Besides them, the other four existing locations are not even considered and two completely new locations have been offered in addition, Lubbock and Irvine Warehouse. If the company uses these five suggested warehouse locations for the entire shipment distribution, they will lower their total warehouse and transportation costs and get around $2.2 million of savings due to the redesign of their supply chain network. A bunch of benefits are knocking at your door if you want to redesign your supply chain network. And now let's see what we have achieved by doing this network design case study. Thanks to the network design analysis, we have found the optimal number and location of the warehouses. We reduced transportation plus warehouse cost, we determined the optimal product flow through the supply chain and we improved service level for each one of the customers. When talking about your supply chain network, sometimes it's needed to run multi-level network design analysis. Yes, I know it can be complex, but we prepared a detailed case study for this topic and the link how to download it and to book a call with my colleague Christina is right below this video in the description. Finding the potential location of the warehouses can also be needed solution, which is why I recommend tutorial how to do center of gravity analysis as a must-watch video. So go ahead and enjoy! We talked a lot about network design recently, haven't we? And now maybe it's time to switch to transport? We have made some changes into our portfolio which will make our users very happy. That's why another big video topic is in the making. So. Stay tuned.